Good morning. Well, listen to some more of Longborn. Hi, Einstein. Listen to some more of Longborn. And after watching Bride and Prejudice, it like just gives it something extra because now I feel like immersed in it. So that was a good choice on my part. Um, it's, I'm like, Goodreads says I'm 60% through, but I think I'm further into it than that. Um, because I think the page count is wrong on Goodreads. <laughs> the shelf is too high and this one's too low. There we go. That's precarious, but Simon, Simon, no, you're not going in the garage. <sighs> So, yeah, I am really liking that, and I'm going to try to finish editing, because uh, I did, Simon, no, um, I did edit most of my vlog from yesterday, yesterday evening, after um, Grayson went to bed. But I still need to add, like, the last clips in and um, add timestamps and export it. So, definitely, I, I think last year I tried to have them, like, up at a certain time. I'm just not even worried about that this year. Uh, I gotta get water for my tea. Yeah, so I'm not even worried about getting them up at a certain time. I'm just getting them up when they get up, and that's fine. No one cares, honestly. Okay, so I did want to kind of put out a little bit of a call to action slash if you feel so inclined. Um, there's this thing called Donor Chooses, which is like GoFundMe, but for teachers. And so teachers all across the country are putting kind of like wish list items for their classroom on there, which, you know, anything about, especially public school teachers, they just do not have the resources that they need to do their jobs and for their kids to have successful years. And this is going to be a really stressful and difficult year for everybody, but teachers especially. I'm a teacher's child, so this is something that has always been very close to my heart. Um, so I would encourage you to go check that site out, but specific to book needs, there is a teacher in my area that teaches at a school where the predominant uh, population are black and Hispanic students, and they have a really small library, so it's operate, operating at like 50% capacity, and they share it with another school, so the kids don't have a lot of access to books and these are predominantly low income students as well. Um, so she is asking for donations so that she can purchase not only books for the library, but books that reflect the student body. So books that feature or are written by authors that are black or Hispanic. Um, so, I'm going to leave the link specifically to her campaign down below. If you have even a dollar, five dollars to spare, I would love it if you would donate to her uh, donor chooses so that we can make it happen. Because unless she meets her goal, she doesn't get any of the money um, that people have donated. So, yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind. I would really appreciate that. I definitely want to make this happen for these kids. So I am making an English muffin and so I, I've i long been a fan of the Ezekiel breads. So like the um, frozen, like the freezer bread that are sprouted. I much prefer that over any like shelf bread just because it, I don't know, they have it has so much more flavor and doesn't have preservatives, um, but I recently discovered that they have English muffins. Uh, they're incredible. Like, I will never buy those, like, the Thomas English muffins again because those taste like cardboard in comparison to these, so 
yes. I bought two things of uh, English muffins. The only downside is that you have to like plan ahead because otherwise, because they're not cut in half. And so to cut it in half when it's frozen, it's like a brick. So you have to set it out or put it in the refrigerator. So I uh, am not always good at remembering to do that. But I did today so I get to have an English muffin and it's gonna be delicious. Newest addition to our house. We're about to have a bunch of service people come to our house, so I decided that I needed to have a sign because people keep forgetting to wear masks in like when people come to like service or AC unit or something. And it's not putting up with it anymore. My husband was like, I would have added please, and I was like, no, because please implies that it's an option. This is my house. That's my baby. It's not an option. If you're coming in my house, you're wearing a mask. So. Okay. I got a 30 minute walk in. So that was nice. Um, I listened to part of Longbourn. Um, Anyone who's read it, the start of, of part three, I'm, I'm not sure I love the way that that is going. But, you know, I'll reserve judgment and let it play out. But so far, I'm kind of wary about that um, as a plot line. So, anyways. I'm a fair amount through that. And... I did end up reading one of the chapters in this this morning, the one that I should have read yesterday, but I actually have three chapters to read for today without that one. So I think I'm going to read another chapter of that right now. Look at all my sticky notes or sticky tabs. Um, and then I want to read 50 pages of this today, but I will probably save this this afternoon when I have Grayson to get a proper bookmark for this. Yeah, I'll probably save this for when I have Grayson this afternoon because these are really short chapters and also like sometimes I do sort of skim read this um, because Thoughts aren't that different. I posted a thing on Instagram, I'll put it right here, that a guy tweeted that about uh, Animorphs that my husband sent me. Hilarious. This is true. This is very true. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hop over there into my reading chair and I'm going to read for a little bit. And yeah, uh, my dad just stopped by and brought me Starbucks and uh, what are those called? Rice Krispie Treats. Ooh, what time is it? Ooh, am I going to read right now? <laughs> I'm supposed to be making falafel. I'll read for 15 minutes and then I'm going to go make falafel. Calculator. Still not clock. <laughs> I got another chapter read, and now I'm gonna go make falafel. Delicious beet falafel. Justin is out there saving a bee from a spider web. I don't know how he's doing it, but yeah, there was a bee caught in a spider web and it was struggling, and sorry spiders, bees are way more important than you. I have two weeks till I go back to work, so baby snuggles. Um, I am I'm not even sure if you can hear me over the sound of our Roomba Dobby, but I'm gonna talk anyways. Um, I read some more of this, so I am almost 50 pages into it. I'm gonna read another 25 pages at least of this. Um, it's a Cassie book and I love Cassie and it's a little different because at the moment they're not 
fighting anyone, so. Yeah. I like the books. I like the animal books where we get, like, more about the greater worlds, like the universe of the animorphs. So like different species, what's going on in the galaxy, what caused this, things like that. Yeah. Which is why I love the Chronicle books so much. Um, because you get to learn about a specific race within the Animorphs universe. Like the Hort Vizier Chronicles is and I remember the Andalite Chronicles being really good too. Um but yeah, those are, I don't think I've read the Elamist one, but I think it's coming up, so. Batter light, still flashing, because I'm lazy. Um, I finished this while Grayson was napping, and this is, like I said, the 19th book in the Animor series. There's 52 or 54, something like that. Um, this is a Cassie book, although part of it is told by Jake, and uh, this is the book where, they, where Catherine Applegate tries to get us to sympathize with the Yerks. The Yerks Have Feelings too book. Um, I thought this was really well done, though, like Cassie's dilemma in this. And it definitely adds an interesting layer, but I still don't feel sorry for them. I don't. You're going to have to do a lot better than that.